quarterback offensive line there's just not enough time to really work on the details of your craft at those positions so this gets you back out on the field in game situations and, and lets you showcase your talents well kyle lalletta wasn't able to complete that pass right there and so the maulers will be forced to punt and while they do that we'll let moose go we appreciate you joining us brother yeah thank you for coming down opening weekend oh, Great my to see pleasure. You always yeah. good to see you man always good to yeah. see you too Thanks it's so really much. a fun weekend and you should be proud of of what you have built here with the USFL. This is really good professional football. It's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure. A lot of hard work, a lot of long days by a lot of great people. And it's just getting started. It's only week one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. All right, that's Darrell Moose Johnston, head of football operations here for the USFL. He's done a great job of acquiring talent for this league. Another short putt by Duffy. Rashard Davis takes it, and Tampa Bay has a chance starting in Pittsburgh territory. Well, their defense has helped them so far, making Mama proud and giving the offense a chance. But the offense got to do something at some point. Yeah. The U. Well, the drone's on the ground right now, but it's going to be in the air, and our aerial coverage is brought to you by PNC Bank. One of the fun innovations we've had this weekend. Caught some really point cool point. shots from time to time as well. Yeah, very cool. So not just cool, but useful. Like you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, your wife told me to say that. Yeah, yeah, not just cool, but Check, useful. Checks in the mail. Yeah, okay, there we go. Jordan Tamu starting on Pittsburgh's side of the field and once again finds his tight end, Cheyenne O'Grady. They wrap him up pretty quickly, but O'Grady still gained eight yards on that play. Yeah, what I, what I like about Tamu is that he's got a good command of the offense, getting to his second and third read in the progression. He's 18 of 30 for 164 yards. Garrett Groshek, 16 carries, only 56 for Pittsburgh. And Cheyenne O'Grady, he has been excellent. That was his eighth catch, had seven before that last play for 78 yards. But that Tampa Bay defense, they have been the story. And even though they've given up some yards here in the second half, they have just continued to play well and be opportunistic, in particular down there inside the red zone. Well, Pittsburgh's defense still trying to keep them alive in this game. B.J. Emmons running right into Tizino, who's been the star of this defense so far for Pittsburgh. Well, with a two-possession game, I always think to myself, you gotta, you got to cut this clock in half. So they need the ball back as quickly as they possibly can because what you'd like to do is at least score that first score in a two-possession game with somewhere around the you know two, two-and-a-half-minute mark of the game. So that's what they're looking at right now as they're trying to build a comeback. And this deficit of 14 points. Close right, close Loss right. of four on the play. Their defense right, is please. giving them a chance. Can they get one more stop? Good. One eighty. Oh, and movement by the left guard will help. False start. Number sixty-four. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. It's on Fred Lewina out of Oregon yeah, State. Coach. Huddle right here. Huddle right here. Huddle right here. Here we go. 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 Let's go. Oh. Right, Brown, Chevy. So now Josh Love and this offense of Pittsburgh thinking they're going to get another shot yeah, here. This, this, is, this is what you're thinking. You're thinking they drive the ball in that window right there. Ten. We got no. One eighty. A shot. Tabu up top. Flags go flying. Jordan Lasley went down there on the coverage with him was Jalen McLean Sapp. And McLean Sapp will argue his case that Lasley went down on his own. DPI 24, 24. Hey, JJ, JJ, relax, relax. Now this can be reviewed by Mike huh? Pereira at the command center. There are two fouls on the play, both on defense. Pass interference, number 24, defense. That penalty is declined. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 90, defense. That penalty will be enforced 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic. First down. So that doesn't even matter. Ethan Westbrook called for this late hit right here on Tamu. Yeah, that clearly late and took that shot at Tamu. Westbrook we should go, know we better we with his experience. And he's going to come out for a snap because that gives a whole new life to this Tampa series. But more than that, it allows him to take so much more clock away from Pittsburgh in this two possession game. Yeah, right now it's not about the points, but the clock. Emmons. What is happening? 
initially hit the backfield by Jeremiah Farms. Loss of one. Kings, Kings, Kings. But the clock keeps moving, and that's the enemy right now that Pittsburgh's fighting. You know, this run game has not done much since that first series. Pittsburgh's defense has done really a good job up front of curtailing Emmons in that run game for the Bandits. 2.3 yard average. 24 carries, 54 yards on the ground, but it's allowing them to eat clock. As Talbot gets hit as he throws, and it's still caught. Rashard Davis makes the grab. Tom who's slow to get up. With a big completion, another first down, and more clock. 13 yards. Terrell Bonds was in, and he was absolutely free. Watch Tomu as number two is going to come in on the blitz, and he knows he's going to get hit. This is courage. The running back needs to block that guy. He leaves, and Tomu is like, oh, my goodness. This is, this is courage, folks, in the pocket. You know you're about to get hit. He ends up taking the shot kind of low, and he still is able to make the throw to Davis down the field. First down at the 23. Emmons goes the other way. Little stutter step. They would you hit here. They're like stand bound, stand bound, but momentum and Keith Gibson took him out. Hold on right here. I want it. I want it bad. Come on, I want it. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. F bunch right strong. Black bono alert. Brown butter. I want it. Ready? Ready to go. Hold on, A push. Here you go. A push. Hey, oh, Benzo, Benzo. Alert. Ace, Ace. Alert. Ace. 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 Again, just free guys in the backfield. Pittsburgh continues to blitz and send linebackers and safeties into the backfield. And this Tampa Bay offensive line has not been able to handle it. But you got to credit Emmons because he's generally been able to make the first guy miss and gain positive yards. And it forces Pittsburgh to use one of their timeouts. Stopping the clock with 2.11 left, of course. The clock will stop at the two-minute warning as well. I know definitely if you stop from here, you want it. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, man. You guys have a hell of a night. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep competing now. Keep competing. Keep competing. Keep competing. Keep competing now. Hey, it's going to be Reed. It's going to be Reed. Kirby Wilson's team down by 14. And one thing you hear, he's still encouraging his yeah. squad. Well, this defense, I mean, they've been hey, really good in the second half, have not given up a point in the second half. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You need to stop right hey, here. Either you or me. Does it matter where the nickel is? Here we go. Let's go. Trips right. Brown rapper Reed. I'm on ready. I think they're running his own read here with Ta'amu in the back. So he's going to be reading the defensive end on the top side. Can they get a yard? There's the read. Washington. No, drop for a loss, and this Pittsburgh defense once again with a stop. It'll be fourth down. They call another timeout to stop the clock at 2.06. Well, Pittsburgh did exactly what they needed to do. Here's Carlo Kemp on this side. Look at him keep his outside arm free. There's nowhere to go, and then inside, everybody wins. Darius Morang, he wins in there. He's 6'5", 295 from Kansas, and he was in the backfield again. Uh, Emmons. And Washington have dealt with a lot of guys at their feet right when they get the ball in the backfield. You got to give a lot of credit to this Pittsburgh Maulers defense because this second half, they have given their team a chance in this ballgame. They have really been strong. And you look at this, even with the field goal, keep in mind, with a three point conversion, this is still a two possession game. That's, a, that's now, right. The clock doesn't work in their favor, but they still have a shot. I was told there would be no math. <laughs> This is a 34-yard field goal attempt by Rousa. And he slides it left, no good. So the three-point attempt may not even be a factor. Pittsburgh has to get something going on offense. Their defense has done their part tonight and kept it at a 14-point lead just outside the left upright. Oh, what 
a shot there. And now Pittsburgh, they got a shot. They got to stop before the two minute warning, which saves them a little bit. Let's go, but they got to get down the field, and they got to get down the field in a hurry. And so Kyle Laletta comes in at quarterback. Yeah, you can see the Mueller sideline celebrating because they have hope. Touch. Here we go, Bailey. What did he? Nope, it ain't going to work. What? He's hot. Oh, he drew him offside. Hey, same Encroachment, same thing. number 97. Defense, five yard penalty. Still first down. Reggie Howard. And so they pick up five yards and use no clock. What's that? Yeah, hey, hey, blue, blue, yeah. blue, blue. Can they, yeah, just keep going on two. Exactly. Let me see how many three five yards can you get? You see, that's what 70 yards. <laughs> 17 more times there in the end zone. One, One, it's hot, hot. Well, that up. Oh, it's drop. Big drop on a much needed play by Matt Seibert. And that'll take us to the two minute warning. Pittsburgh. Desperation. Western.com. All right. The action continues next weekend in the USFL, and the weekend starts on Friday, 8 o'clock Eastern in USA, when the Michigan Panthers take on the New Jersey Generals. Saturday at noon, the Pittsburgh Maulers will battle the Philadelphia Stars to battle the Keystone State. And the Birmingham Stallions will take on Houston at 7 on FS1. Then on Sunday, New Orleans squares off against Tampa Bay. That game will be over on NBC. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, USFL Rivalry Week action for you. Here we go, here we go. On Fox and the NBC networks. All right, Pittsburgh just trying to get anything they can going here. Kyle Lalletta flushed out of the pocket. Throws it too high. The man open on the sideline. That was Jeff Thomas. You know, the hard part here is that <laughs> they only have three receivers right now active. And so they, you know, we always right, say right, this right, is like watching like an Air Force Academy game or an Army yep. game where they're, when you, you say like they're not built for this. Right? They can't send more than three wide receivers out That's right all now. they have. So it's yeah. like, you, you know, there's, there's not a lot of threats down the field. That was like a max protection number one, number with three one. wide receivers back. You, uh, and Tampa okay. is just going to sit back in a soft wait, wait. pass defense. And it's going to be very difficult to complete the ball down the field. Here comes the pressure. Lovato quickly got rid of it, and it was tipped. Luckily for him, it was not picked up. Quentin Meeks had a chance at it. Fourth and five, obviously. They're going to go for it down by 14 points in less than two minutes to go. Hey, well, right, it's right, been right, a frustrating right, night for this offense, right. but a lot of that has to do with what Tampa did on defense, yes. in particular that defensive line. Here we go, gun double right, 58 freedom okay. on one, ready. <laughs> hurry, hurry, shot! Well, let a incomplete, and that may be it for the night. It's kind of indicative of the way this evening has gone for Pittsburgh. Yep. They had nine plays. For negative oh, yards on offense, three sacks. They Ready gave up eight penalties as well. And uh, Todd Haley looks no, like he's about to record his first victory as head coach better. of the Tampa Bay Bandits. Yeah, and it was it was pretty thorough. I know that they'll want to clean some things up offensively. There's no doubt. Clean up some of those turnovers. But for the most part, you know that was a very good game from Tampa Bay. They'll want to look at the offensive line play, try to run the ball a little bit better, move them forward. But their defense was outstanding. Pepper Johnson should be very proud of that defense and what they were able to do. They, they just attacked all night long. Yeah, they gave up only a field goal on a short field. Time to run out the clock now. Jawan Washington with the carry stays in bounds. 90 seconds left. You can see Todd Haley. Tan Todd. That's what we have to start calling him now. He's been spending his time down in Florida, coaching high school football the last couple of years in Sarasota. I got to tell you, you know, I think everybody that's been, you know watched football for a better part of a decade knows that Coach Haley had a reputation for being very 
boisterous. Uh, it was more than a reputation. You know, and, and <laughs> if you ever watched him on the sideline sure. or interviews, you saw it. And, and let's just say, Kurt, when uh, you and I sat with him a couple of days ago, totally different. He's been totally Moby, different Moby, tonight. Moby, Coached Moby, high school Moby, for the last couple of years, and Moby, he credited Moby, that as not only a perspective Moby, deal, but just a, getting back to the Don't love break of the, the game. To 15 seconds left. And he's... He's acted like it tonight, yeah. you know, he's yeah. and, and he's his calm. team has played like it as well His Absolutely. team played calm and you know credit to him and so he's been able to life, do. Sometimes in life we need a, a reset, you know You evaluate where you are how you got there And maybe decide let me change some things and it seems to be if That's what Todd Haley has done so far much more relaxed and Much more comfortable than who he is I mean, he's a man who won a division championship as a head coach with the Kansas City Chiefs